it's a remarkable privilege for me to be the interim president of the UNC system, the public university system of North Carolina. Uh, I know that, I, I think about it daily, I'm grateful for the uh, responsibility that I've been entrusted with. We have some challenges, and one challenge, just to be direct about it, is the last two or three years have been pretty chaotic within the university system. What I'm trying to do in, as I work with and for the Board of Governors and with the chancellors and others across the system is settle things down to get us to a stable operating environment where we can do the real important work of educating the current and future generations of North Carolinians doing the research and health care delivery and, and all the other things that, that make this such a powerful gem that the people of North Carolina have and, and how we can make it yet better to show more results for the people we serve. There's always going to be some turnover, but it is true. In some high profile jobs in the last year or so, we've had substantial turnover. Um, I think we are headed into a quieter phase, if I can put it that way, of less of that kind of turnover. That's my earnest hope. That's what I'm trying to produce. We have other challenges. One is we need to welcome even more people into the education process so that we need to improve the access that people have to the product uh, that we offer. Secondly, we need even further to increase the productivity of the system so that more people get their degree on time in four years and surely in five years. We need to do all of this for less money. And I know many people are used to seeing people like me saying we need more money. But even before we get to we wish we had more money, we need to show better return, more efficiency, more productivity to the people we serve for the large amount of money that they entrust to us already. The American public and surely the people of North Carolina have decided in large part that higher education just costs too darn much and we ignore that to our peril. And I'm not talking about just a little bit of changes around the edge. We need to take head on the issue of how do we really lower the cost of higher education in the same way as we really need to take on the issue of how do we deliver healthcare services for less money, not just bend the cost curve, but actually point it downward.